Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Pisces, for the first half of March 2024. Pisces, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. I hope this is your best birthday season yet. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you, Pisces. If you'd like a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box below. Just send me an email. We can talk about that. And just a reminder, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Pisces anywhere in your chart, or if you're just checking in on a Pisces, everyone is welcome here. It just might not resonate with all. But welcome, welcome Pisces. What is going on for this birthday season of yours? Can we get a moon oracle card? Nothing will come of this situation. The void, of course, moon. Before I did this reading, I was shuffling the cards, Pisces, and I did feel like this sadness washing over me or this kind of feeling of, oh God, it's not what I thought it was going to be. Maybe this birthday was a milestone for you or something was supposed to be in place by now. And you're just feeling like uh, uh, this defeat coming over you, this, oh God, it's just, it's not what I thought it was going to be here. So something's got to be adjusted and balanced out. Look at this prosperity lies ahead, the new moon in Taurus. So yeah, yeah, something is right ahead for you, Pisces, right around the corner for you. And it looks to be um, prosperity, money. Yeah, I like that. What kind of animal spirit guide is up in the ether? The zebra. Look at you changing. You are adjusting. You are making the required adjustments, Pisces. After a really, really long time with the earthworm, very, very slow moving energy, real determination, perseverance, really overcoming and pushing through, pushing through like bedrock. I'm seeing this earthworm just trying to get through bedrock or maybe it's in Arizona and it just can't get through the caliche. <laughs> but yeah, you've been really, really trying to push through something, trying to see something from a different perspective here. And when that wasn't happening, maybe that made you feel like, oh, maybe it is me. Maybe I'm supposed to see it this way. The tiger, look at this determination. You have had your eye on the prize. There's just nothing that's going to stop you from overcoming this or getting through this, but it's just time to change your perception a little bit. I mean, what is life other than the way we're perceiving it, the way we are feeling about it here? So you're just kind of changing things up within you. It takes a looking at it to do that. It takes an awareness of what is not working, of what is stuck within you to be able to purge it out. There's this massive purging happening here and a purging of the poverty mentality with, <clears throat> with prosperity lies ahead. So I love that. I love that. Zen tarot card for up in the ether for the sign of Pisces. Spirit, what's going on with Pisces? Exhaustion. Yeah, look at this. You have been persevering, pushing through, being strong, being in control, seemingly, and it has absolutely exhausted you. It is time to give that up, give that fight up, give that push up, and surrender this, Pisces. Surrender this to the divine. Really, really let it go to God. And however you refer to God, that higher source, that bigger uh, uh, creator here. Oh, God, Pisces, let's blow it out together. Just really get rid of this. Take that deep breath in. All is well. Everything is happening for the benefit of you. And just breathe out the negatives. Breathe out, purge it out, and really, really let it go to the divine. <sighs> All right, guidance, guidance. Look at this. You have a guardian angel, somebody guiding you out of this, somebody showing you the light, showing you the way here. So... There is a light at the end of the tunnel here for you, Pisces. I love this angelic guidance coming in, this guardian angel, this I've always been here with you. I will, I will always be here with you. I will never abandon you. I will never let go of this love I have for you. Oh, Pisces, this is beautiful, beautiful. All right. What are you thinking about right now, Pisces? What is on your mind? What is on your mind? What are you thinking about? The waiting room, the waiting room, four of pentacles. You've been waiting for something to change, waiting for something to happen. Here comes that big full moon in the window here, the uh, secret keeper, that beautiful, beautiful uh, Luna, Lu goddess Luna here, really peeking through the window here. That's catching my attention. You are the moon energy and the major arcana. But you've been feeling left out, feeling left out of the secrets, feeling left out of the group, feeling left out of the partnership here, feeling very, very much left out. You've been waiting for things to change, 
feeling left out with the poverty with the money here too feeling in poverty mentality like uh you were just meant to be here meant to be here in this suffering position here and, and spirit is here to tell you it's time to change that that's the adjustment that needs to happen here nothing will come of that situation of you feeling like you're not worthy of it or that you don't deserve it here so absolutely beautiful you're coming into this awareness of I am worthy. Yes, look at this. <coughs> Ten of cups, excuse me. I'm getting over this flu or something here. It's been dragging me, but I am feeling much better. Ten of cups, look at this happy energy, this family coming together, this beautiful celebration of you, this honoring of you, and you accepting it, you accepting that, not trying to push it away, not trying to tell people, no, I'm not like that, when someone's telling you how generous you are, how beautiful you are, and you trying to uh, put that back at them, no, no, that's not me, and it's just time to accept that, it's time to accept, yes, you know what, I am a beautiful person, I give everything that I have here, and I'm going to honor that for a minute, it really changes things for you, it just opens up the floodgates, uh, for unconditional love from the people around you here, real, real acceptance coming toward you. What is the challenge there? It is that poverty mentality. There's not enough. There's not enough love. There's not enough hope. There's not enough money. There's not enough here. So you are moving out of that. It has been a challenge for you because you've always been fighting for it. You've always been trying to argue for why you do deserve this and, and how much you do here. So it's just really, really time to release it. Take that trust fall with spirit and let the riches come in. You deserve this uh, beautiful new beginning when it comes to your money here and feeling content and feeling happy. Yes, look at this. Here comes the sun Pisces. The new day has dawned. The new beginning is here for you. And it has to do with you feeling broke, you feeling bankrupt. It's just time to kick that mentality to the curb. It is not serving you well. You are very, very rich. You are very abundant. Look around you. Be grateful for the things, the people, the situations that are in your life. It's just almost like spirit is saying, enjoy, enjoy this. These are the good times. <laughs> You've seen worse. <laughs> Future thought. Look at you coming up in your own reading, Pisces, with the moon, that moon energy that was trying to peek through the window. It's risen fully. It is out. Secrets are revealed. The stories come into perspective here. The, the real truth comes out. The real story comes out here, and it's not uh, exaggerated. It's not overblown. It's not uh, uh, trying to sway you one side or the other. It's just the truth. It's just the truth. You knew it all along. You felt it all along, and the truth is revealed here. So yeah, I love that. I love that. It really leads you out of some struggle. It leads you out of some darkness here. And I'm so happy to see that for you, Pisces. Spirit, what's your advice in the mind space? Eight of Pentacles, look at this. You're so focused. You're so focused on making something work. You're very determined. You're, you're getting up and you're doing it. You're not just thinking about it here. So you're taking inspired action. You've been inspired. You've been called to uh, move in some direction here or move some certain sort of way here. And you're absolutely following that. You're using your own uh, ingredients now, the, the tools that you have learned from the past here, from that a uh, really hard time. You got through something. You very much had to push through and be determined and overcome something here, persevere. And so now you've got all the right stuff. You've got all the right tools, all the right ingredients. You know, uh, uh, you know things now. You're very much aware, very, very psychic, very intuitive. So you're just really, really following your gut now. And that solves everything. That just saves everything here. Yeah, I love that. What are you feeling? What's in your heart space right now? What are you feeling? Tell me what Pisces is feeling. Look at this. I see death and rebirth. Page of wands, four of cups. There's that waiting room again and death and rebirth. God, do I love this Pisces. Look at this major arcana with the moon and death and rebirth. I love that. This is big. This is a big transformation here for you because the moon is your card. It is represents Pisces in the major arcana. And then we have this beautiful Scorpio energy, this death and rebirth, this new door opening, this new day dawning here, showing you the light, giving you your, your hope back, your faith back. It's all uh, been divinely guided with this guardian angel that has really wrapped their wings around you right now, Pisces. God, this is beautiful you're about to receive some kind of glorious gorgeous 
uh, abundance right at your doorstep, just right in your face. It's just so heartwarming. It's so deserving by you. And uh, it's just a big karmic payoff for you. God, do I love this. Look at this in the future, the world, another major arcana, the number 21, the last card in the major arcana. It's the do-over. It's the start-over. It's I know what I'm doing now. Now it was just practice. Practice made perfect here. So there were some things that didn't work out that you thought would work out. There was some miracle you tried to manifest in and it just didn't come. And you felt unworthy. You felt uh, less than. You felt like other people got their miracles. Why not you? And you just fell into this darkness. You just fell into this negativity that we all go to. There's nobody that hasn't visited this room, Pisces. So yeah, but there's always this angel at the door. There's always this calling to the light, this calling to things can be better, that better days are ahead and, and keep your focus on the light here. So oh God, it's absolutely beautiful. A huge, huge transformation in your emotions, Pisces, and it's glorious. Spirit, what's your advice? What's your advice in the heart space? Oh, look at this with the Ten of Wands. Let go of those burdens. Let go of those things that didn't work out. Let go of the thought that you failed somehow, some way here. It's just to make you stronger, to make you believe in yourself again. Believe that you can get through anything. If you can get through that, I can get through anything here. It burns this fire of strength underneath you. Burns those burdens away, those responsibilities away, those things that you put on yourself that if something wasn't this way by this time, then you had somehow failed or things must have gone wrong. You're moving into this trusting of the universe, this trusting of the divine, really very much trusting this guardian angel that's been watching over you. And you're surrendering those feelings. You're surrendering the feelings of unworthiness here. It's absolutely glorious. Pisces, it changes everything. What's in the foundation of this for Pisces? What is this all about for Pisces? Queen of Pentacles, I saw her on the bottom of the deck before, really taking control now, not relying on anyone else to uh, make you happy or make you feel safe or make you feel content because that can be taken away from you. But if it comes from you, if it comes from within, if you get that reassurance from within and the higher beings that are around you, that can never be taken from you. So you finally feel like you've found your throne, like you found your castle here, you found your kingdom here and feeling very, very very safe because it wasn't given to you by another. It was given to you by the divine and by your higher being here. So it's absolutely beautiful and acceptance and acceptance of worthiness for you and just how beautiful you are and that it's not over yet. It's not over yet. I'm still here. I still have time. I always have time. And you're just giving yourself that break that you're removing that deadline, that time clock that's kind of been ticking in the background with you. You're just smashing it. You're just throwing it away. Time is linear to the divine. I'm going to make it uh, uh, fluid with myself too. I'm going to make time fluid. I'm going to really start getting control over my emotions. And that's what the control is, is that nobody can make me feel any way. No one can make me feel happy and no one can make me feel sad because that's coming from within. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What else in the foundation for Pisces? What else? Oh, I see this new journey ahead, this new adventure ahead. The Knight of Wands, really stepping out onto your own now, expressing yourself, expressing yourself free freely, not holding back, not um, apologizing for what you're saying here or how you're feeling here. It's just, this is how I feel. So why should I apologize for the way that I feel here just because I've expressed it? So now some real conversations can start happening. Now you can really get to the root of your relationships here without feeling exhausted because you didn't get to express yourself the way you wanted to here. So there's always this kind of look back, oh, I should have said that, or I, you know, hindsight is 2020, but um, you've got, you're moving now into the now moment. There's no power in that past moment. I can't change what I said or what I did or what someone said to me and my reaction to that, but I can do that today. I can do that right now. And it starts with right now. So now is where our power is. It's not in the past and it's not in that unknown future. It's in the right now. So you're really, really grasping your power back, taking divine action to do so and uh, following your gut. Pisces. This is glorious. This is glorious. Look at this new adventure also with the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. 
a brand new beginning and adventure, expressing yourself, just being you without fear of the judgment or fear of uh, feeling shameful in some way, shape or form here. You're really, really moving into your light, moving into your true, true purpose here. Absolutely beautiful future, future situation for Pisces. Look at this with the tower. Oh my God. And the high priestess, there's that revealer of secrets, the revealer of the truth here, the uh, uh, Akashic Records keeper, really, if you know anything about the Akashic Records, I don't, not much, but uh, the revealer of all of the secrets. So you've been allowed to elevate, you've been allowed to rise up into some bigger understandings, into some bigger pictures here. And really, it helps you put down that guard. You're very, very much guarded, very, very much with one eye open and uh, not letting a whole lot of people in, if anyone right now. You're really, really keeping to yourself, understanding, coming into these understandings and <clears throat> coming into these this knowledge of the higher realm here, the, the bigger truths here. Some kind of massive truth, some kind of life-changing truth has occurred here, either in the recent past or it's happening with you right now. And it's letting down your guard, letting down your fear of the unknown here, your fear of change here, understanding in your mind, somehow, some way, the worst has already happened. So now you're looking for the better, 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 better. Now you're looking for the lighter, lighter, lighter feeling brighter, feeling happier, feeling more joyful, one step at a time, really, really this kind of uh, calling out of your soul now that uh, it's all about the now. It doesn't get any better than this. Wow, wow, wow. Just an understanding that this is the good. These are the good times. This is the best. I'm feeling good right now. And that's as good as it gets. I'm going to take it. I'm going to accept that. I'm going to thrive there. I'm going to start there. Pisces, this is glorious. A really, really beautiful understanding of purpose and purpose is connection and coming together and a meeting of the mind and, a, a, and an allowance of love into our lives, which allows us to express love right back. This real exchange of energy, the number eight, the infinity. 2024 is a number eight in numerology here. And it's just that infinity of energy, that back and forth, that yin and yang coming together for you, Pisces. Absolutely beautiful. It clicks your heart right back into place. It, it, there's a clicking that's happening here. A real wheel of fortune is what I'm seeing in my mind right now. It's just a real clicking into place. Just click it into place, Pisces, of your worthiness and how powerful you are and how strong you are and how much you're helping others through their very, very difficult times here. It's so beautiful. Ace of Swords. I cannot believe this. You've got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords here. A brand new beginning. A brand new beginning in the way you think, the way you feel, and the way you live. The way you live because you can't keep doing this. You can't just keep exhausting yourself with either going back in the past and wishing things could have been different or moving it in right into the future and fearing what is to come. There's this snapping together into the now moment, this real coming together that nothing matters more than this moment. There's a real understanding and then thriving from there because every moment will be that crucial moment to enjoy yourself, to be happy again, to find light again. Every single moment will become that important to you. You will no longer waste one more second on the dark. You will no longer waste one more second on an unknown future, an unpromised future. You're going to be living right here, right now. You're going to be present with people. You're going to be connecting with people. You're going to be having those heart to heart conversations with people. Once again, it's absolutely that is abundance. That is riches. That is the purpose here. Oh, my my God, do I love this. I love this. All right, let's get a little bit of clarification here. I want to see what you're waiting for. What is Pisces waiting for, Spirit? What is all this waiting about? What is all this waiting about? 
the brief, the brief, the nine of swords, waiting for the brief to end, waiting for it to miraculously just disappear maybe here, or uh, getting that miracle moment where you feel free of some kind of grief here, of some kind of situation here that you had to persevere through, you had to keep going. You know, my mom and I were having this conversation. She's a Pisces. This birthday was really hard for her. It was very, very difficult for her after we lost my dad a couple of years ago. And, um, you know, she's been really going through a hard time with this and she's been grieving and been very, very sad. And, um, yeah, it's just really, <laughs> now I'm getting emotional, <laughs> but Pisces, the conversation was that, uh, we, we have to be in the now moment. We have to be with, we are all healthy here. We are all here. We are all breathing. We are all thriving here and it's time. It's time for us to move into the light. We cannot forsake our lives. The rest of our lives, my dad, his, his wish was that she would have years of happiness ahead of her without him. And he was very, very fearful that that would not happen here. So anyway, yeah. So Pisces, if you're feeling that way, if you're feeling like this ma massive loss has come into your life and you don't know how to overcome it, you don't know how to keep going. My mom, uh, that's where I was going with it. I lost my train of thoughts. But anyway, I told my mom, I'm so proud of you. I'm so, you are my hero because I did not think you were going to survive. She's 82 years old. I did not think you were going to survive losing him. He was just the love of her life. And she said, I didn't have a choice. I don't have a choice. And it clicked in my mind right there. And I told her, yes, you do. Yes, you do. We all have choices. I have seen uh, older couples uh, die within months of each other or on the anniversary or on they just give up. They have, we all have the choice. We all have the choice. And you chose to live. You chose to have better days ahead of you, that things would get lighter, that things would get better. So that's where I was going with this. You have a choice, Pisces. <laughs> you have a choice. All right. All right, let's see. Let's look at the moon. Let's look at Pisces right in their own mind here and bringing things back into perspective. What's that all about, Spirit? What's that all about? Yes, look at this, the world. I love that. And the Empress. Oh, my God, I'm seeing the world twice here. Look at that. You carrying the, the weight of the world here. You really have been the nurturer. You've been the uh, divine mother to all of us here, Pisces. <laughs> I love your energy. I absolutely love the Pisces energy. That feeling you get when you're with a Pisces is like no other. It's just like you're the most important thing in the world. And it's that focus on, on me that is so, uh, uh, so unconditional to me. It just really resonates throughout my whole uh, system here. So the world, a brand new beginning, a brand new start over. You've got the world here twice, a do over for you, a do over for you, Pisces, a brand new day has dawned for you. The end, the end has happened. It's already happened. The worst has already happened here. It's time for better days ahead. It's time for laughter again here. Yes, Pisces, you are really coming into an expression. If you're a writer or a painter or an artist in some way, shape or form, that is the way to go. That is going to bring you in riches beyond your wildest imagination here. Express yourself freely here, Pisces, very freely. Let's see this new adventure, this new adventure for Pisces with the page of wands. What's that all about? Oh my God, I can't take all of those because that was just my bad strength the eight of pentacles again interesting the four of cups again and the eight of swords and the ace of pentacles again a brand new beginning in money you're really letting go of this poverty mentality or that there's not enough that something's going to come in and really ease your mind about the finances here really help you to uh, relax when it comes to your finances here because there's so many more important things to focus on in the now moment than money so spirit is going to give you the money that you need in the moment that you need it so that you can focus on that unconditional love that beautiful beautiful energy that receptiveness here it's time to receive the empress is all about receiving now it is time to receive the energy that you have given out for infinity here for eternity here in this lifetime you're going to experience this return of energy like you have not experienced in any other lifetime here it's an absolute return to you Pisces this is glorious this is a glorious glorious return to you return of the energy return of the uh, uh, vitalness the the eagerness the excitement the hopefulness here the having that very very strong conviction that all is well and not giving up on that idea again 
This is absolutely beautiful. Look at the strength that you have received from this transformation here, from this beautiful, beautiful transformation here. Very much a prophet, very much a seer. Pisces, if you read tarot cards, oracle cards, crystal work, uh, candle working, whatever it is with your hands that you're doing with your hands, it is an expression of you. It's a beautiful, beautiful expression of you. It's an outlet. It's an outlet of all this beautiful energy that you have stored up in you. And it is time to release that through your creativity, through the muse is awakened now. You, you can do anything you want to do expressively here. So artistically, creatively, uh, some kind of hobby turns into a stream, flow, stream of money here, a beautiful exchange of money for the, re, the return of what you have learned, what you have overcome here out to the world, out to the collective here. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at this with the Eight of Swords. You've been so much up in your mind because you've been in that waiting room. You've been waiting for something to happen. Something did not work out the way you had thought it would. So you had to change directions. You had to really find a new guide, a new North Star to follow here. And that seemed very, very unsettling for a while. But the uh, anticipation is over now. You don't have to wait for something to happen again now. It's, it's, it's a time to release the anticipation here and move into a knowing. It's not a belief. It's not an idea. It's not a uh, thought. It's a knowing. I have evidence that this is true. I have proof that when I fall into the feeling of all is well, when I fall into the feeling of knowing, of knowing that we are all connected, that energy can never die never die energy always will transform and move on and and we will still be us we still be us with our consciousness our consciousness is very very important to everyone else is here we're all moving in this beautiful beautiful form uh but we all have our unique perspective on it even when we die we do not lose that unique perspective of who we are we can be that person here on earth we can be that earth angels that know who we are from our higher selves constantly feeding us this important important information of who we are and the high priestess revealing that to you, revealing that to you, showing you who you are because you overcame, because you got through that. Do you know how special that is? Do you know how beautiful that is? Do you know how uh, sacred that is? Oh, it's so beautiful. Pisces, God, do I love this. I love this. Justice on the bottom of the deck. Again, that karmic return, that return of energy to you. Absolutely beautiful. It's time to thrive, Pisces. It is time to thrive. And I can't wait to see where you're going. I cannot wait to see what's next for you. It's beautiful, beautiful money stream coming to you. And it has to do with you expressing yourself, uh, just letting it flow, letting the emotions flow. It's a purging as well with you. So it's absolutely healing on both sides. It heals you and it heals the collective here. So absolutely glorious, Pisces. All right. I think I'm going to leave it here. <laughs> My God, it doesn't get any better than this, Pisces. It doesn't get any better than this. In this now moment, right now, breathe in how good this is. And uh, I'm doing it with you. I'm celebrating you, Pisces. I'm sending you all my love, all my love. Happy, happy birthday. Happy transformation to you. And uh, yeah, I will definitely tune in with you soon. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons, Pisces. Thank you, thank you. All right, tune in soon.